All right, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. Sure. Uh, with Vault Medical, um, help physicians operate on patients uh, during a type of surgery which is called uh, ablation. We're talking about atrial fibrillation. It's the most common arrhythmia in the world. It's 10% of elderly population, more than 30 million patients, and this is a deadly disease. Uh, so uh, what we do uh, during this type of operation, we analyze intracardiac signals in the patient's heart to give uh, physician uh, indications to which zones might be pathological and of, of interest. Uh, because the problem is that this is a common operation, but still success rates are around 50%. Uh, we want to drive up the success rates, we want to shorten operative time, and we want to uh, harmonize the physician experience. So basically, we want non-experienced physicians to treat just as good as the experienced ones. So you're not doing any diagnostics, you're there during the actual operation, you're in the theater basically. Well, this happens during the operation, so it's real time in the operating room. Got it. So where do you get your data from to build your algorithms? Yeah. Uh, great question. So uh, we gathered hundreds of thousands of intracardiac signals from a patient's heart tissue. We labeled them with expert physicians, which allowed us to produce these AI algorithms. And so you're trying to, to increase the success rate of these operations. Is that actually I, working out already for you? I would say there are three main points. We want to decrease procedural time. We want to increase success rates because they're currently at only around 50% for, uh, for ablation. Uh, and at the same time, we want to harmonize the experience. Uh, we want the, the non-experienced physician to treat just as good the experienced ones. Uh, what, what is your, um, are you doing pilots right now? Are you actually in the market? What does yeah, that look well, like? Uh, we're running a clinical trial now in Europe in several centers. We're getting FDA and TMARC approval to be able to sell in Europe and the US in 2020. And at the same time, we'll start the randomized trial, which is kind of the cornerstone in the medical community. And at that point, you will sell this to hospitals and, and yeah. doctors directly? What uh, exactly. Well, uh, we will sell to hospitals. So mainly ablation is done in hospitals. And this is physician who will use this uh, software uh, during operation. What does the experience look like for the doctor who is using this? Is there a monitor in mm. the operation theater? or what? what yeah. is there's, a, there's basically an additional monitor to what already exists in the operating room. So that's quite low capital investment for hospitals. At the same time, uh, it kind of comforts the doctor, which doesn't normally know what to do when they operate on patients. So it's a very ambiguous operation. We know really little about the mechanisms of atrial fibrillation. We give physician comfort of detecting uh, these pathological zones by indicating, uh, by indicating uh, with uh, colors which zones might be of interest. Can you take that technology and apply it to other um, diseases or other surgeries as well? Uh, well, now we're applying it to other uh, arrhythmias. So that's kind of an, our R&D pipeline. Because atrial fibrillation is the most common one, but there are also other ones which are less common but more deadly, like ventricle tachycardia, for example. So we're uh, heading towards that. And then, of course, this approach could also be applied to other diseases. Awesome. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you.